do this outside with an adult, wear goggles, wear gloves, wear a space suit, wear everything. Okay, so here we go again. We're going to show you another form of biomass. Come on, torch. There we go. <sighs> Ta da! Now, this time, don't let me melt the camera. You tell them not the camera. Don't melt the camera. Don't melt the can. Yeah, we're going to turn this down. Now, don't light this up here until a bunch comes out because there's air in there, and air and these gases might make it go poof or bang or something. So, wait for a bunch of stuff to come out. That way you know the air has been driven out and it's just volatile gases coming out. Again, these gases are going to be methanols, maybe some acetone. Uh, you do this at a higher temperature, those are being cracked and you'll be getting basically hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, some methanes, and other wonderful stuff that you can use in an engine for fuel. You can condense them. Yeah, you can condense the uh, methanol coming out of here, which used to be called wood alcohol. And uh, you can run your car off of that if you get our hydrogen and multi-fuel DVD. It'll show you about hydrogen boosting that stuff. Okay. Let's see if it'll light up now. There it is. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. We're almost getting enough coming out continually for it just to burn on its own. Yeah, yeah, I hear you telling me it's going to melt down here. Stove doesn't want to stay on low. Okay, there we go. Lit. Lit. Come on, stay lit. There we go. Nothing goes fast enough when you're on camera. Now, this is just a propane torch I'm using for lighting it. Woohoo! Look at that. Isn't that a nice flame coming off of there? Beautiful. Again, you can see a lot more is coming off here then is going in and the cans not even insulated I don't have any high temperature insulation around or anything else if I put some aluminum silica wrap or what used to be called the K-wool which used to be asbestos but it's now ceramic uh, I have much better performance of course I'd melt my aluminum can but hey we're trying to show you stuff that you can do with what you got and I bet around you got a propane type burner you have cans Cans, more cans, oh, that's what happens when you melt it. Woohoo! Doesn't our name look good in flames? Yeah, knowledgepublications.com. And as you can see, this will actually go on for quite some time. A long time. Longer than you want to watch this. So what I'm going to do after a few moments, when you get tired of listening to me and looking at the flames, I'm going to press pause, and then I'm going to switch over to another can. I'm going to put something else into it to show you that you can do this on bark and wood chips and wood pellets. You can do it on manure. It's got to be dry. Um, what else I got here? Oh, you can do it with the shavings you put in your hamster bed, the dirty ones. You can put them back into here. Uh, let's see, pine mulch. Basically, anything organic. Corn stalks, corn cobs, wheat straw, wheat chaff. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? I wonder if I'm going to make number one video on YouTube. Yeah, I doubt it. Again, for more wonderful information on this, you want to go to knowledgepublications.com. And the books we have on the subject are incredible. Let's see. There's one book. Hydrogen Manufacture by Electrolysis, Thermal Decomposition, that's this, Thermal Decomposition, also called Pyrolysis, also called Destructive Distillation, and Other Unusual Techniques. Well, I like unusual techniques. This is about a $50 book. <laughs> it's before we republished it, there was only one copy in the English-speaking world available. And uh, it's very detailed, and uh, it covers this in significant detail. Yeah, this is, wouldn't be your beginning book for doing this. After you've done this you want to know more, this would be your, your other reference book. Uh, let's see, a starting book, if you can only buy one book, you want to do some of this stuff, only even more advanced, other than just pyrolysis. Hydrogen gas generators, 
hydrogen generator gas for vehicles and engines, volumes three and four. It's one book. This is the one to start with, okay? If you can, you, know, you can either start with that one or this one, hydrogen production from organic materials. This is, if you only get one, uh, maybe this one would be the best one for you to get. If you want to do it in regards to an engine, this one would be the best one to get. So you also would have hydrogen generator gas volumes one and two. Three and four is the better beginning book. One and two complements three and four. Then we have hydrogen generator gas for vehicles volume five. Okay, this basically deals with all charcoal methods of converting this. This book deals with all charcoal conversion to run it in your car. It's a very good book. Um, also more reference, Industrial Hydrogen by Mr. Taylor. Oh, in case you're wondering, it's still burning. Okay, um, and the flame went down. Let's see, Industrial Hydrogen is a very good book. It tells you how to do it on a large scale. Uh, these two books complement each other very well, okay? And again, you get this one after you're done with those two to go up even further. If you're doing anything professional or you're a professional, get this book. Coming out, or out by the time you see this, is, see, this is the baby version of this book, okay? This is the 1919 version of this modern book. This covers every single way to make hydrogen. A lot of it is with uh, metals and organic chemistry, but it covers the carbon and everything else. This is a great book for uh, schools and other educational programs. Okay, I don't know how many minutes I've gone on, but I'm long-winded. And that is finally... Not only did it burn out, I ran out of propane. Oh, maybe that's why it's slowing down. It might burn even further. Okay, time to change bottles in the next, next experiment. Ha! You didn't see me loading this one up because I didn't want this video to go on too long. But what was it? I'll show you what it was. Corn! Right here. I actually got this at Home Depot. It's cracked corn for birds. But you can do this with whole kernel corn too. Or wheat or 